<coughs> little little video today. Uh, won a few cars from Copart, so uh, or if uh, you watch any of Sparkplug Steve's videos, it's Copart. But uh, yeah, so gonna go and pick them up today. See what we've got. See if the bags are shit. See if they're all right. Uh, last auction. I think there was, I think today there's four, picking four up. Uh, first one we're picking up is a Fiat Panda. Looks really nice on pictures, bit of tailgate damage, uh, rear bumper damage. So yeah, it don't look a bad thing. So uh, using the Copart Transport app, uh, if any of you recovery guys who watch this will know what a nightmare Copart is to pick up from. Usually waiting hours on end. Uh, so today I've scheduled them all. Bear in mind I live literally five, ten minute drive from Copart Santoft. So what I've done, uh, in I've given one ha an hour each slot. So nine, ten, eleven and twelve. So I've got a uh, day off work today, so I've got uh, Wisdom Tooth coming out. So I've got to go for consultation this afternoon. So I thought, well, since I've got these to pick up and instead of trying to cram them in time, I'll just book an holiday day off work. So here I am picking these up. So yeah, uh, got here a little early, booked in at nine, got here at 20 to. Says on the app there should be a delay, maybe a delay because I'm outside of my appointment, which I'm 20 minutes early, which is a good thing for, you know, for, for them, really. Uh, <clears throat> so we'll see. Like I say, I gauge it's going to take me 10 minutes each way, home and back, and 10 minutes max to unload. So that, to me, is half hour per car. It all depends how fast they can fetch them out after the appointed times. So um, what I'll do, I'll recap time scale of how long it's taken and how long and my review of a Copart Transport app. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, touch back in when this uh, Panda drops on. Just been to unstrap, obviously Copart mandatory yellow vest. Uh, <coughs> mild transit. Gem. serves me well. Two cabs, for, one for the kids. You can see, see here now, all the transporters here loading. Got my guy Martin hat on. If you want one of these, go on Red Torpedo website, however they do come with a ball on the top. I've got a little twat of a dog, so I've got no ball on top of mine, so whatever as it comes. But uh, yeah, hopefully, I'm just here now, just stood, open, waiting for his panda to arrive. It's typical from... Uh, they obviously fetch them out, load them up, spin them around and obviously load your engine forward for the weight. Uh, that's just pretty much standard procedure. They do charge you a load fee. Uh, if I recall, off the top of my head it's about 15 quid for this, for them to pull it out. However, you don't really have any choice because they don't let you in the yard to pick up. So, it is what it is. One thing I will say, guys, uh, is while you're here, see these. But what you do, you tend to get a lot of foreigners here. Uh, I'm not, like I say, I'm not not knocking them. You know, any not <coughs> not racist in any way. However, get a lot of foreigners here that just do not care what they do. They'll get them dropped off and they'll drive them. There could be front wheels hanging off and stuff, headlights missing and stuff. They'll drive it. <coughs> Definitely non-road worthy cars. 
So, uh, yeah, they'll come up. Beg you to borrow your jump leads. Uh, <coughs> if you've got a little petrol can, or, you know, they'll, they'll come and ask you for everything. And they will literally drive anything. Uh, I don't know how I can put it, but if if engine ranging out and drive, but for driving, <laughs> literally, I mean, I've, well, I went to York, a minibus pulled up, about 12 of them got out of a minibus, and they all drove back, and you could see them all driving out one by one after each other. Unreal, absolutely unreal. If police sat outside here, they'd make an absolute killing on fines. Uh, however, they'll, obviously, they'll probably be insured, but you know, under a trader's policy, but cars definitely aren't roadworthy, and they know they're not, they should, shouldn't drive them. But, by the by, I'm not the police, so leave them be. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, shouldn't be too long for this panda. <clears throat> like I said, what I discussed earlier, they will come and just drive them. So, uh, as you see there, he's, it, he's scribbling all the yellow chalk off it. To be honest, this this one doesn't look bad, uh, but he's is there scraping all the writing off, so it doesn't look as uh, conspicuous. But uh, yeah, so I'll uh, it's two of them up, getting it running, making sure wipe clear screen, so I can drive it. But yeah, it, uh, to be honest, that doesn't look too bad. I think, in all fairness, the damage on that looks like grazed down passenger side and front bumper just unclipped. So that, in all fairness, probably is drivable. Uh, I, I'd certainly drive that. But uh, yeah, just to show it, you know. Yeah, some boys. Here she comes.
all loaded. Little uh, little car has <laughs> got uh, stickers calling it Frankie, so I'm guessing it's uh, Frankie the Fiat. Uh, obviously, see we're all loaded there. Pretty much straightforward. Time is quarter past nine, so that's not bad. Go here at twenty to. Told me there'd be a delay. Kind of accept that. Uh, but yeah, loaded for quarter past nine. Pretty happy with that. So just gonna drive back. Let's get it uh, unloaded. Quick video of Frankie, I'll show you why I call it Ros and Sam, I'll show you why I call him Frankie. <laughs> but generally, really, I've done 31,000 miles. Really nice, honest, clean car. Uh, really lovely. Don't look disabled, but don't look ignorant. But there you go. So, yeah, as you can see, this. Is it's just caught bumper bar, just took this bumper bracket and the dent here. Now, I've been offered a bumper and a boot lid in the right colour for 125 quid. But, uh, I'm in general condition. I mean, look, all the tyres are good, tyres are mint. Uh, really much for the boot lid on them, but yeah, happy with that. Old Frankie. So time is 25 past, managed to, uh, sorry, half, but just half past, so managed to get home, unloaded. And now let's get back, round two. So unloaded, all back, uh, got here again, 20 to, so timing's not too bad. Uh, next one's a Astra, high mileage, well I say, I, well done, 157 Astra Elite H09 play I believe. Uh, bid on this, I didn't really want it to be honest, but uh, yeah, it was 397 quid all in with fees. Once a back bumper, from what I can see on the pictures, and that's it. 17C DTI runs on pictures, you know, it looks as to be honest, it looks a nice straight car on the pictures, but just take pictures on Copart with a pinch of salt. And what I will suggest if you are going to buy off Copart HD the pictures and zoom in on a desktop don't look on your phone have a quick glance on your phone but <clears throat> yeah we'll see what it's like when it comes out uh... <sighs> 10 5 loaded strapped on way back so same again go here at 20 20 to a bit early uh yeah so here we are looks all right this astra to be honest you get a good description of a car if you look round. i mean it's got brand new back brakes on it so that tells me straight away if it's just had brand new back brakes on it they're the padded ones you know where they paint the discs so it's had, like I said, rear brake, so it tends to be <clears throat> someone's recently spent some money on it, so you tend to know you're going to get a good running car if they've recently spent some money on it. I told you before about the come and the drive cars back. So <clears throat> on my third load, come back, bought an Astra, it's not an Astra, I'm lying to you, but a Focus. For some reason, I only buy the Focus diesels. It's a Zetic S, and it is here, unbeknown, I bought a 1.8 petrol, not even thinking, I don't know what happened. I was just bidding on, put that many, I put everything in my watch list and I don't know how it ended up in my watch list. But anyway, I chucked a bid on so many cars and then I turned the computer off and I won what I won. 
Uh, but yeah, I bought a Focus 1.8 petrol, so a bit of damage on this one, a bit more than what I want. But yeah, back to what I was saying about them driving cars. Well, if you see here, look, they've come to pick, looks like they've come to pick a Range Rover up to drive it. Drop film then. And uh, obviously the plan's not gone to fucking, not gone to plan. Sorry about language. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're all around it, all in my yellow vest trying to get it uh, sorted. So uh, let's go, <laughs> let's go for a nosy. So yeah, it's focus unloaded. <clears throat> Not particularly happy about this car, to be honest. Uh, Mark on body valve finish off, so at least bonnet survived. That were a plus point. Bit of damage there. Wing I knew was obliterated. Uh, marks here, they'll, that, they'll polish off. There's a dent in this pillar. It's only, I say minor, it's not that bad. But it's still got to be filled and painted. We'll have to paint that. There's a few marks there. Looks like it's been in a ditch. So they'll all polish off. A few marks on door. But surprisingly, doors come away pretty good. Uh, mirror's been ripped off. There's some mirror in the back. <coughs> you can see here, but obviously, the wheel's back. So there's a bit of suspension damage there. So most likely, bottom arm can't really get in to see uh, one thing which has pissed me off which I didn't spot in the pictures and I'm not sure if it's been done there but windscreen's gone Look, luckily I know a windscreen fitter who cuts second hand screens out of fit screens in so it shouldn't be too much of an issue but it's still annoying when I never spotted it on pictures but other than that it's really clean Really clean, and it looks like it's been a really well looked after car. Uh, I think it's is it done that 79 foul? So, got some goodies grill, some grill, all intact. They're specific to the Zeta Kess. A little bit of damage on that edge, but nothing that won't repair. But I have bought a full front bumper in the right colour. Mirror, I'm happy they've done that. Not because I, I want the mirror, but there's the indicator lens and the casing there so that means that to replace a mirror I can get one in any colour and just swap the casing so I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm a bit pissed off when it got loaded on but more and more I look around it I'm you know it, it ain't a bad car. Really clean inside. Oh sorry it's done 63 foul so not like it was someone's uh, Someone's really looked after, it's been really cleaned. But we'll see, It's uh, this is going to take a bit longer to repair this one. But uh, it is what it is. So yeah, back at home, 20 past 11. Get back in the old girl. Yeah, 20 past 11, <coughs> that's getting to Copart for my 11 o'clock appointment. Getting loaded up, literally, no word of a lie, I'm not going to bullshit you. I will add an 11 o'clock appointment. I always click on there five minutes earlier just to get on the system. So when I get to a certain point on a certain road, I click on there. Uh, don't know if you should do or not, but it's it just tells them you're there. If you know you're five minutes away, but what one thing I, I don't want to do is obviously um, to fetch it out, so I don't want to do it too early. But if you save a, a few minutes, a few minutes you're on system early, you might just beat that one person. It just is what it is. But yeah, uh, so I'm 20 past 11 now. That's me loaded up, got back home, unloaded, and ready to go back for my 12 o'clock appointment. So I'll do the same. I'll click on there when I get there. Uh, well, a little bit before, but uh, yeah, last one of the day. That's three today. So four in total this next one is for my mate so it's for him so i said i'll pick it up and i'm going to leave that one on back of the truck and drop it off at his later 
so <coughs> arrived at uh, 20 to 12 the appointments at 12 yard is rammed literally rammed it did say may experience delay as usual but it is it is what it is uh we'll see if uh, this is the test now with a busy yard and uh I don't know if my car was transport behind me what they're actually unloading for cars well, i believe we're loaded we might even be loaded them <clears throat> not a clue but yeah <coughs> we'll see we'll see what time scale is time we get loaded so bear in mind 20 to 12 the appointments at 12 been really good all morning i can't really knock them to be honest loaders have been awesome i've not had to go in the office once so yeah a few days after dropped that iron die off at my mates he's happy with that he's actually got that repaired now cost him 100 quid for door and wing in the same color so he should be on for making 500 quid on that car for 500 quid so <clears throat> looked at the focus like i said to you i wasn't i wasn't particularly happy with the focus but more and more i look at it it's a really nice car it's been really looked after i've got the parts in i bought a wing of the right color and this is where i went to copart second division you pull it and it's cost me all in all about 105 quid i've got a bottom arm track red end front panel front panel upper trim front panel lower trim headlight mirror i'll still get from there power steering pump because that's behind the wing and that's tuck in it but i bought it with all the cage so it can be literally there's actually no structural damage on that car absolutely none and the doors survived so i think today oh and I, today i'm going to build it up but one thing i did look in the car for lucky wheel lock key and it's not there <clears throat> so we've got a task of taking the locking wheel off but yeah uh, what i'm gonna do next video i'm gonna actually do t it's gonna be today after this but this will be in a following video so make sure to have a look uh and have a watch let me know your thoughts we're gonna have a go at that get that repaired i had to bust the grill out typical we focus bonnet catch so i have to buy repair for that <clears throat> but yeah you've seen pretty much overall view today of what it's like to go copart what people actually drive back uh four cars collected overall and then i dropped one off and then did another recovery job for my mate uh yeah pretty been been a busy all day and today i've actually bought a parts car a uh, local Mondeo came up cheap, uh, 200 quid, 2010 Mondeo Z-Tech, slipped a timing belt. I'm not going to try to put an engine in it, not even going to do anything with it. I'm going to use it as a parts car, so I'm hoping to get a few Mondeos. So, like I said, let us know your thoughts and uh, like and subscribe. And don't forget to watch this focus video because I'm going to strip it all down and actually show you what the damage is and how we turn a wrecked car from something which is is going to be back into a nice car so cheers